Hello everyone, this is Jonali from Kahori. Today I am going to make a small tutorial on how to drape a Mekhala Sador. Mekhala Sador is a traditional attire worn by the women of Assam. It comes in two pieces. The bottom part is called Mekhala, which is a hollow piece of cloth. And the top part is called Sador, which is like a dupatta. You can also call it as Mekhala Chadar for your convenience. Let's get started. This is a Mekhala, like I had mentioned. It is a hollow piece of cloth, like you can see it here. Now, before we get into the draping of the mekhala, it is important for us to make two folds. One, two. Now, we will need to iron press it. Basically, iron pressing will give us crisp pleats to the mekhala. Now, considering my mekhala is already pressed, we will need to find three folds projecting outward meaning so if you look at this fold this fold is projecting outward right unlike this fold which is projecting inward so we need to find three such folds uh, one after the other like three consecutive folds projecting outward which will give us the pleats to the mekhala now usually we wear the mekhala and then we do the pleating but if you are wearing the Mekhala Sador for the first time, I would suggest you can use this little trick where we will try to find all the three folds projecting outward before we wear the Mekhala. Uh, so let's just hold the Mekhala, like any part of the Mekhala and then we will try to find those folds here. So I can see folds but only this fold is projecting outward and these two are projecting inward right so i know that this part does not have the folds which is going to give me the pleats so i'll just turn it around and see now look here this is one fold which is projecting outward and this is also the joint but that does not matter as long as it is uh, projecting outward it will give you the pleat now this is second and this is the so now I know all my three folds are right here. So when I wear the mekhala, I will make sure the fold is right in front of me. And this is how I will make the pleats. Fold 1, fold 2, fold 3. So we got the pleats very easily using the folding and ironing technique now hold all the three pleats together and fold it towards your right unlike in a sari we uh, fold all the pleats towards the left but in a mekla chadar we fold the pleats towards our right so hold them together nicely and tuck it in your petticoat and whatever is remaining on the top here just tuck it nicely I'm not doing a very neat job so our mekhala is nicely pleated so we are done with the mekhala pleating here which is the bottom part of the mekhala sador now we will get onto the sador like I had mentioned a sador is exactly like a dupatta which comes in two ends obviously. Sometimes one end has a heavier design. In that case you can consider that side as a pallu. But in most cases both the sides are identical like you can see it here. So I will consider any of these in. Just gather it. So that I can get a uniform length to the pallu. And how you drape a sari similarly. You put it on the shoulder and you adjust the pallu length and from your right side just pull the other end nicely. Now we will need to drape this end. I will show you two styles. There could be a few more but I am only aware of these two which are quite popular and looks very pretty. So hold it about this much. 
and then leave the loose end. So it will auto automatically create like a triangular pattern along with the tassels flowing very nicely. Now hold it there. You need not do anything more to pleat it. Just adjust the sides and tuck it nicely. Now adjust the border and the pallu. And you're done. Yes, it is this simple. Okay, let me show you the second side. Hold the end. In this style, we'll just simply make a couple of beads. Like how you make for a sari. In this style, you will see the design here at the end. It is visible quite nicely and you are done. Now adjust the pallu. So that's Mekala Sadar draping for you. It looks exactly like a sari after you drape it. Now if you are a little worried what if the end of the Sadar or the pleats of the Mekala comes out, trust me it will not. But to be rest assured you can always use a safety pin here and pin up the petticoat. The pleats of the mekhala and the sador all together here and you can go dancing all night and forget about the fact that you are wearing mekhala sador for the first time. So this was my first uh, tutorial featuring myself. I hope you guys will enjoy watching it. This video is especially for all the sari lovers who have shown so much love and support towards our product at Kahuri. I am uh, hopeful that you guys will definitely give Mekhala Sadora a chance. Thank you so much.